crews in the building. Thank you, Red. Umar Nurmagomedov. Returning for the first time since a knockout of Haoni Barcelos in January of 2023. Magomedov is in white. Abakhan counters in blue. And what a knockout that was, John. Or Magomedov, Nurmagomedov even. Jumped in the air. I think it was a flying knee attempt. That didn't connect. A right hand didn't connect, but the left hook did put him to sleep. There are myriad reasons why Umar Nurmagomedov is one of the more avoided guys in this Bantamweight division as Amakan lands a body kick. When we asked him about it, he said, we're training like robots. Oh! Wow! Amakan landed a nasty left hand, a right hand. Umar's on a single leg, but he's on that single leg because he was rock bad. Yeah, yeah. That was a beautiful finish, though. Oh, man, did you see the finish? <laughs> that was nasty. Did you see that finish? That's why you got to be well-rounded like this yes. and have that kind of ability because other people, this fight could have been over there. He was rocked badly. When I say finish, I mean finish on the single yeah, yeah. leg. No, yes. I know, I know. Right? He's down on the single leg. He goes into the middle, what we call an Iranian. You usually will pick an opponent up on your shoulders, but instead he just peeked his head out to the opposite side and it sat Omicron down. Now look, the Mega Man is still trying to shake off the cobwebs here. But trust me when I tell you this, he won't play the striking game with Amakan again after what no, just happened. He almost paid the ultimate <laughs> price. I, I said mean, it a yes. second ago. You know, I mean, it's a courageous move of Umar Namaga made off to take this opponent. He's doing big things, 16-0, closing in on a title fight, takes on the newcomer with a massive reputation outside of the UFC. He could blow it all, and he almost did. But now it's time to uh, get back in the driver's seat. Amakan expected this fight would go the distance. He certainly expected Nurmagomedov to wrestle, getting a heavy dose of that here two minutes in. And I think that's the, you know, you expect him to wrestle, but I think the wrestling comes in part due to the, his ultimate respect. After Amakan could do what Amakan just did, yeah. you respect him enough to play the safe game now if you're Umar Nurmagomedov. Well, when we spoke to Umar this week, He's just locked in, and it's just second nature. If he's rocked, he goes for a takedown, because he said, we dominate in everything we do. We're not being cocky about that. He said, we're not out partying, we're not socializing. He said, we just train like robots. We do what we are told, we train like crazy, and you can see the results in that. He gets clipped with a shot, instant reaction, boom, grab a single leg, put it down. There's no thought process involved. Seven career wins by submission for Umar Nurmagomedov. The last six have come by rear naked choke. Working off the back here, about two minutes to go round one. Yeah, for Al Makad. I mean, he's in a pretty bad position. It's a body triangle. Right, triangle yep. Nurmagomedov needs to get that, l that right leg passed. Oh, he's opened it now. That was an opportunity for Al Makad to escape. Well, he's trying to hook his arm with his right leg. He's trying to hook the right leg. The arm with his leg to try to stop Omicron from fighting with his right arm. Omicron's doing a really good job of wrist fighting from his back. Now, what he needs to do is stop, change the position. He can't be flat over the top of Umar or Mega Metal. He's got to find a way to slide off to one side and then start to try to rotate back into Nurmega Medov. A second ago, Nurmega Medov had his feet crossed, which is a big no-no. There's actually a submission available to Al Makan. Very, very basic one as well. So he's trying to hook the arm there. Yeah. Nicely done. In this position here, generally you get an underhook, and you're able to kind of hike that thing up and get away from your opponent. But right now, what Nurmagomedov is doing is creating so much pressure down that even though Omicron has the underhook, he cannot move. You know, I saw a quote this week from Dana that said Dustin Poirier said he was freaking out because of the way Habib was holding him down. Yes. That strength, right? It's something that these guys do in their grappling that really does give their opponents issues. Oh, my side from Nurmagomedov. Omicron needs to take some chances. He's got to get his feet on the hips to try to push Nurmagomedov off of him. Nurmagomedov is far too comfortable operating inside of his guard like this. There's another big elbow. 20 seconds. If I'm Almakan, I'm going to try and tie him up now. The round's over. Reset in the second. Look for that big right hand again. 
Nice short elbow there by Nurmagomedov late in the round. Ooh. All mixed martial arts rounds begin on the feet. We'll get you round two after this. Stop.